Yo, what's up? Welcome to another build guide. Uh, so a quick intro before some clips as usual and then I will explain the build in the path of building. I will have a couple of uh, fantasies, you know, fantasy builds coming soon. But after that I will start preparing some 3.15 um, leak starter to end game, those kind of guides. Uh, you guys like those kind of uh, videos. Um, if you are following me, you already know. Maybe a couple of those. So let me know what kind of build you want to uh, see. Uh, don't forget to join my discord. I have a couple of those in my mind. I will also take a straw poll or whatever it is called uh, So also join that uh, don't miss those because I will prepare builds uh, Depending on what you guys want. All right, so let's get ready for 3.15 uh, So yeah uh, So what is this uh, guide about thermals as weapon? So this is uh, one of the best leak starter weapons and it also carries through tier 15 16 easily uh, this weapon has a very high uh, physical role actually physical dps let's say also a lot of crit chance and attack speed that's why this weapon is very good and finally gain a friend's charge on crit chance so normally if you are not playing with maybe a pharaoh's fur body armor or maybe if you are not a raider or ascendant with a raider subclass so those kind of stuff uh, you cannot actually generate frenzy charges on bosses so that's why this weapon also lets you generate friends charges so this weapon has lots of uh, good stuff on it so this is normally like a one chaos weapon maybe the good ones are five chaos this is even like 10 chaos at a leak start day one so this is what you use uh, while playing a cyclone or maybe flicker if you are a crazy person because flicker as a leak start is a little crazy stuff all right so i wanted to push the limits with this weapon uh, i just bought something with implicit uh, with a fortify so these are like 10 chaos, 20 chaos, I believe. But after that, you obviously you need to use a lot of wall orbs and fusing so you can link it from the bench. There are actually a couple of people who sell this for like one or two exalt as six link. Crazy people. Uh, so you, you maybe you can also snipe those, but otherwise you just have to link it with bench craft uh, by paying a lot of wall orbs. So yeah, that is our main weapon. Uh, I also put a 750 physical dps weapon i believe in the battle building so you can just um, compare the dps damage but this weapon can actually easily carry you through whole whole game uh, i want to just uh, show you this so let's just watch some clips and then i will just be here explaining everything
right, I'm back. Uh, let's just see what we use, the equipment, and maybe some gems. I prepared everything as usual in colored. You guys love those kind of stuff. And I will also show some stuff on the talent tree, these kind of special jewels maybe, alright. So let's just start with the equipment, uh, alright. So Terminal says these are weapons as I said earlier. Because this is very cheap, if you want to invest even further, get something with implicit. So this is how you search for that. Terminus as right now in the Ultimatum League. Just type fortify, check for implicit. Socket gems are supported by level fortify, implicit, search. So this is your weapon. As you can see, it is very cheap. Just try to get something good. After that, you want to spend some wall orbs, jeweler orbs, fusings, those kind of stuff. That will probably cost something like 6 exalt, maybe like 7 exalt. So this is something like a 7 exalt weapon, actually. Normally good swords are at least 15, 20 exalt, those kind of stuff. At least 750 DPS exquisite blades. Uh, they are very expensive. I also put something here. As you can see, it is 16 exalted, but the other stuff are like 20 exalt. Maybe this is cheap, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, this you can also um, compare the DPS. As you can see, obviously it provides way more DPS. But if you want to play something else other than maybe Flicker, if you don't want to use Farrell Spurs, I'm gonna explain this in a second, you will actually lose those Frenzy Charges at bosses. As you can see, DPS is now shit. Uh, but this is with Flicker Strike, maybe you want to play with something else, because there are a couple of 200 uh, good skills, like Cyclone, Sweep, those kind of stuff, maybe. So yeah, in the end, you want to just figure it out on your own if you want to play with something else but Terminal says easily carries through whole game and some of my equipment is very cheap actually we are going to take a look at all of them so just buy something here and then use those crafting bench recipes and six link it all right that's it so it, your weapon is basically seven link because it also has a fortify in it that's why we are not actually using fortify as you can see just make sure that you type weapon one so it is actually in that weapon so it calculates that fortify flicker strike impale uh, because my impale is not kept with this talent tree actually i am using an anomalous for the 10 percent impale actually so make sure that you have a good impale chance you can just pick flicker strike here check your impale chance make sure that it is at least 90 95 percent mine is at 98 right now so an animals impale actually helps with that multi strike Diversion for some additional attack speed. This is better. Um, brutality. I paid an extra for that awaken. If you have the money, go for that. Close combat. This is probably the broken, the most powerful gem for these kind of sword wheels. Actually, it provides a lot of DPS. This is simply broken. So make sure you use close combat. It is very important. While mapping, we are using melee splash uh, because uh, those kind, these kind of strike skills are not very popular. Melee Splash is actually very cheap, so make sure you buy something um, Awakened and maybe even level 5, this is very very cheap. This is what your mapping setup. At bosses, I am using Life Tap. Because this is technically a 7 link weapon, the mana cost is very high. So if you want to use Melee uh, Physical Damage, this is the best jam after this. As you can see, I need 67, uh, 68 mana, it is very high. That's why we are using life tap. I also put clip. Uh, you already watched that. That is what happens if you don't use life tap. You will just run out of mana because we are attacking so fast. Uh, Seven link has a very high mana cost. That's why using a life tap. Which is actually a bad uh, jam because it provides only 30% more damage. Not that high actually. So you can actually deal more damage. Maybe if you can figure that mana cost somehow. But I doubt that. I'm not sure because we are attacking so fast. Leech isn't enough on its own, that's why life tap is your savior actually. So this is the boss setup, this is the mapping setup. So this is all about the terminals as the weapon. So let's check the other equipment and the gems whenever uh, they are needed. Uh, let's just fix this, alright. So helmet, this is very cheap, I just crafted this for like maybe one exalt. The Berserk buff effect is the best enchant for post DPS, but you can also get... Uh, let's just show it here. I want to do this here because I also want to show you this kind of stuff. Because if I roll a clip on the background, you will miss this. That's why I wanted to explain the build here this time. Uh, you can also get Flicker Strike. 
damage per frenzy charge, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, probably one of the other good stuff, one of the other good enchants, you know, one of those. But if you want to burst bosses faster, uh, this is way better. So these kind of helmets are very cheap, not crafted, obviously. After that, you just want to use Orb of Alterations. Uh, you can do that, but I didn't do that. I actually crafted this with Christine plus Jagged Fossil on a two um, socket resonator. That's it. You only want to maybe try like 10 or 15 times. Uh, if you are unlucky, maybe like 20, 25 times. But those forces are like one chaos. So each try with the resonator also something like three chaos, four chaos per try. Maybe like 10 or 15 tries. You know, it makes something like 60, 70 chaos at most. And you will probably pay something like 50 chaos for the helmet. So this helmet will cost you something like one exact. Maybe just a little bit more. Alright. You just want to focus for that life. And nearby enemies take 9% increased physical damage. That's it. If you are lucky, maybe we will also get some resist, those kind of stuff. I haven't got anything actually. My helmet is just shit. I haven't even tried uh, for a better one. Because I got some intelligence, I wanted to stick with this. So I don't have to put intelligence on my jewelry. That's it. So about body armor, because we are playing flicker, we want to generate fence charges even more, so we don't have any issues. That's why a Pharaoh's Fur, this is a cheaper version, or a Replica Pharaoh's Fur. Actually, Replica provides less DPS but more survivability because we are also playing a Slayer. So let's just first check what a Pharaoh's Fur does. Um, oh, this is actually bugged here. I will just put a picture on the screen, the comparison. comparison. So normal Furl's Fur gain up to your maximum number of Frenzy and power charges when you gain Cat's Scalp. Uh, so because we also want to use Aspect of Cat buff yeah, with this body armor, it is basically free. So first of all, you want to buy Furl, first of the planes, Beast. Craft it on one of your rare item. It is uh, in my Glows because Glows also has a socket. That's why I am also using a less duration support. With less duration, that buff will have a lower duration, so the cycles are gonna be faster because there are two buffs actually. One is Cat Stealth, one is Cat Agility. You will just get these uh, buffs in a cycle. If you use less duration, these buffs will have lower duration, that's why you will have that uh, frenzy and power charges faster. So that's very important, that less, less duration jam is very important. Actually, if you want to use a normal power spur, this is what your DPS is. Actually, it is lower <laughs> because crit is a shit stat up to some point. Yeah, actually, the stat provides more DPS even with endurance charges, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that low. So yeah, uh, for lower budget, obviously, Pharaoh's Fur with aspect of cat, so you will get those charges. If you have a higher budget, if you want to be tankier, that DPS isn't that important. Only one million, it is nothing. But if you want to be tankier, a replica Faro Spur. The picture is gonna be on the screen because Path of Building is bugged for some reason. It doesn't say. So you gain up to your maximum endurance and power charges. Uh, trans charges, I'm sorry. So you don't get any power charges with replica. You instead get uh, endurance charges. So this is what you should take. Frenzy and endurance. You don't have power charges. Don't forget that with the replica. Because we are also playing a Slayer, I also picked Masterful Form. Your maximum endurance charges is equal to your maximum frenzy charges. So what does this mean? This also provides plus one maximum frenzy. So right now, normally you have three charges, all right? I have one maximum here, four charges total, one here, five charges. Playing a slayer, six charges. Using glows with plus one maximum, seven. And finally using dark ray vectors, eight frenzy charges total. So that 8 is also equal to your endurance charges, so that means that I have 8 endurance and 8 frenzy charges. And I am not even doing anything because Farrell's Bird automatically uh, provides me those charges thanks to aspect of get buff in my glows. Again, this can be in some other piece, it doesn't have to be in your glows. Uh, so that's te technically it. You just get those charges automatically, so Farrell's Bird is very important. It is even uh, way more important because it's a flicker build because we want to generate frenzy charges fast enough. <coughs> but we are also playing with Thermos as and this also has a frenzy charge of crit. So you have it is impossible to run out of frenzy charges in this build, alright? So this is technically it. Don't forget that aspect of the cat. Aspect of the cat is by the way suffix. Um, maybe I forgot to say that. So make sure your item has at least one suffix open. So you can just craft it in the menagerie. 
uh, in your gloves or maybe helmet because it also has a socket so make sure you also put that less duration all right this is very important uh, gloves plus one maximum friends charges is very important uh, because we are heavily um, scaling frenzy charges with flicker strike and other stuff also because this is a strike skill uh, you want to have a better clear speed we are obviously using melee splash but uh, that isn't enough on its own having at least one additional strike is also very good that's why um, on warlord glows you can get plus one maximum frenzy charges i highly advise you to buy it from someone else uh, with only one warlord modifier which is frenzy charges obviously and maybe you can just use alteration on a hunter spike gloves uh, that is not very expensive that is what i did use some alterations get strike skills target one additional nearby enemy make sure it is the only hunter base uh, hunter modifier after that use awaken roar because awaken roar combine two different influence types uh, only um, combines one modifier all right so make sure each item has only one modifier which are frenzy charges on warlord and strike skills target one additional on hunter just combine the both my gloves are actually shit as you can see nothing on it uh, a little cold resist and that's it uh, i actually <coughs> had two open suffixes that's why i put aspect of cat and crafted some resistances you can actually maybe get something better so this is not that expensive awakening orbs are very um not very but cheaper compared to previous leagues after the harvest nerf so i highly suggest you to craft it on your own you can get some, maybe something better because the good gloves are very expensive you don't even need that uh if you can get some um what's that health uh, life yeah that's gonna be very good actually but there are plenty of other pieces to cap your resistances so yeah even a shit gloves like this is enough for this build boots I even forgot to uh, delete the price tag on it, you can see it is on like 50 chaos because this is a corrupted one with increased maximum life as implicit, uh, try to get maybe something like that uh, because these boots are normally like 1 chaos, 5 chaos, uh, nothing even special. So why do we want this? Plus 1 maximum frenzy charges, even more DPS, movement speed per frenzy charge which is very nice, lightning resist and finally 2% chance to dodge attack hits per frenzy charge. Because we have 8 friends charges, that means that 16% I am also using um, acrobatics. As you can see, I have 46 attack dodge. That's why um, I will have a tankier character. So this boots is both good for dodge and DPS. Also provides some resistances. And try to get something as corrupted, like some life maybe. It is very cheap, as you can see. Um, amulet. If you need, first of all, uh, maybe some stats like intelligence, those kind of stuff, make sure you get something with that as an uh, maybe implicit. So something like this or maybe Lapis Amulet or Onyx Amulet, those are good for intelligence. Main stats, flat physical damage, crit multiplier. Life or a crafted life, it is not the end of the world. You will just miss that increased damage while leeching uh, because if you craft the life on your own, you cannot craft something else. And if you still need resistances, maybe that. But I highly suggest you to get resist from other pieces because uh, sometimes amulets are expensive. Uh, so maybe you should search something with only one resist. Um, so I'm not sure about the market prices right now because the leak is dead. It's the two months uh, in the ultimatum. Yeah. Uh, if you have an open, um, if you have an open prefix, you can just put damage while leeching. So this is probably the. Uh, maximum version that you can get you know everything is on it resist life crit multiplier physical damage uh that while leeching by the way is for mana and life leech combined so it doesn't matter which one you are leeching but because we are also playing a slayer uh where is that life leech effects are not removed at full life so technically slayer leeches all the time so those kind of bonuses are up all the time that's why this is actually very good for dps so if you can get something like this with life on it or maybe you can skip life on one of your pieces that that's not the end of the world just try to aim at least 5k life uh, that is where i am comfortable at rings very cheap only like one exalt each uh, i wanted to get some life that's why i picked a vermilion ring because my hit wasn't kept i also put some accuracy as you can see i am not even kept right now so i need this ring because hit chance is very important Make sure you have at least 95, 96 percent 
Obviously, if you can go for 100%, which is very nice, but make sure you have at least 95. That's why I picked some, uh, put some accuracy on this ring. So accuracy, flat physical, because it's a physical build, resistances and life. That's it. Um, if you want more life, vermilion ring. If you want DPS, steel ring. Very easy, very cheap. Uh, our first choice, assassin's mark. You can also get vulnerability curse. You will maybe lose a little DPS because that is probably a worse first choice. Uh, assassin marks overall are very powerful right now. So if you are playing a projectile build, sniper mark is just broken. If you are playing a crit build, assassin mark is just broken. This is only like eight levels, by the way. This ring was like one exalt. This is actually shit. Uh, I just put some resists, life, and assassin mark. That's it. Uh, if you have the budget, you can also put maybe accuracy on this, but they are very expensive. So depending on your budget, uh, you can just fit in more stats. But make sure that you have that curse, resistances, and life. Rise attack oil best in slot for these kind of attack fields, physical attack fields. Uh, more maximum physical attack damage, less minimum. That means that your um, lower hits will even deal less damage. Your minimum hits will deal less damage. This is actually a DPS loss for that part. But for that maximum, this is actually a DPS gain. So make sure you get something with the highest, more maximum, and the lowest, less minimum. Alright, that is very important. Other stuff are not that important. There is actually a life roll and a physical attack roll. Uh, don't forget to also catalyst this with attack catalyst, I believe abrasive, something like that. So it will actually be something like this, 44 more percent. Uh, this is normally like 40% maximum roll, I believe. And the minimum roll is 30%. Let's just also show that so you can understand better. So this is what you should get. As you can see, 30 to 40%. So the less portion should be lower. So the lower, the, be the better, alright? And the more portion should be the highest as possible, alright? This is what you want to get. And abrasive catalyst. As you can see, it's going to be even more DPS. Uh, this is all the gear that we use. Let's take a look at the flasks real quick. You want Onslaught, Silver Flask, that's it. Um, curse or Freeze, Immunity, whatever you want. Lion's Roar, because this is a physical build, more melee physical damage. Another best in slot, must flask, alright, a lot of DPS. Diamond Flask, because this is a crit build. Put whatever you are missing, Freeze or Curse, whatever that is not on your Silver Flask. Uh, you don't have to use Battle Fate while mapping, but it obviously helps. This is a high investment. You can just skip that if you want. Maybe use a regular Sulfur Flask if you want more DPS. Or even use a Basalt Flask if you want to be tankier. As you can see, the DPS uh, difference is not that important actually. You can just kill bosses like this if you want. Just use a normal Sulfur Flask so the monster is on the consecrated ground. So you can just save some Exalted uh, if you want to skip Battle Fate. Uh, life flask, you don't even need this while mapping. You can actually use a cinder soul of flask instead of a silver flask. So you will have some recover while mapping, also some extra crit chance. Because this is a silver flask, you don't need another silver flask. If you are fine with recovery, you can also skip life flask maybe. And put a defensive flask here. Uh, again, something like basalt maybe. Or oh, because we also have a decent dodge, you can also play with maybe quartz flask. So yeah, just figure it out uh, what you want to use, but Cinder Swallow while mapping is actually very nice. Instead of a maybe normal Silver Flask, but make sure you get that Curse or Freeze Immunity by using another blue uh, Magic uh, Flask. So let's take a look at the Talent Tree, the Jewels. So Trade of Hope, this is one of the uh, good places that uh, I use these kind of Jewels. Medium Trade of Hope, some people, uh, probably new players, make mistake and buys maybe large, very large, whatever, the other versions, you have to get medium ring thread of hope. So make sure you type that effects and then check that medium while buying. So it will cover this area. Disciple of the Unyielding, um, because I'm using a replica for sure, this is actually very nice, provides a lot of DPS. Actually, if you don't have a replica for sure, maybe you can skip this, but while mapping, this is again very nice because you will generate those friends. Um, Endurance charges, uh, even with normal power sphere, because this provides uh, power charges instead of endurance. So you can yeah still get some defense uh, because endurance charges provides um, damage, uh, physical damage reduction. That's why this is actually very nice even without replica power sphere, because we are scaling friends charges a lot. This is very important. A lot of DPS, 
also more generation for friends charges uh, while mapping because friends charge on kill with 8% chance. We are also using blood rage by the way. We are we, we have follow sphere terminals as lots of places to generate friends charges, so it is impossible to run out of friends charges. Titanic impacts, two-handed um, crit crit multiplier, those kind of stuff. Versatile stance because we are also using flesh and stone. Uh, damage while in blood stance is very good for DPS. As you can see, this also provides a lot of DPS. And uh, that's pretty much it uh, with this thread of hope. Uh, intuitively leap here, so you can basically get notables without even connecting them. That's why I am only getting the big ones, the notables. Heart seeker, crit multiplier, friends charge, very important for this build. Attack speed, accuracy, very important. As you can see, it provides a lot of accuracy, so this is very important if you are not kept on your accuracy, maybe. Herbalism for some life. Uh, if you are not kept on resist, you can also get survivalist. This is also very nice. This is a very, this is a very good place to put this. Dodge. Sword wheel. A lot of crit chance here. Another sword wheel. Some decent accuracy here, by the way. Life. You can even maybe get this. I'm not sure. You can try that. Uh, wind Tensor. Less damage taken if you haven't been hit recently. Because we have a lot of dodge. And Telekir Strike is a skill that moves around a lot. Maybe you can also get this. This can maybe save you all right. Uh, you can just try that. Some jewels, mana damage, multiplier, life. I will just list the good stuff here right now so you can read easier. Uh, I will just um, maybe. No, yeah, I will just let you read. I'm not even gonna say anything. So just read the screen. Uh, there are gonna be some combinations. Just try to get at least one crit multiplier. Uh, get life. And then whatever you can fit uh, depending on your budget because two crit multiplier ones are very expensive that's why i am using jewels like these because these are way cheaper something like melee damage uh, global damage weapon damage you know with sword maybe something like that so double multipliers are very expensive that's why these are way way cheaper mm, what else what else let's just check if there are anything crazy uh transcendent flesh crit multiplier per 10 strength on unallocated so these are these strength nodes here unallocated so this is a very good place to get a lot of crit multiplier as you can see it provides a lot of crit multiplier so this is a very good place to get some good dps crit stuff finally um cluster jewel because we want some leech and slayer has an endless leech so we are gonna just abuse that uh sword base it can also be attack i believe because these similar uh, notables are also in attack large clusters so make sure you get some attack or maybe sword whatever you found martial provost a lot of attack damage attack speed and accuracy feed the fury leech life and uh, we already have leech life we are not using this for that uh, damage while leeching attack speed while leeching because today has an un endless leech thanks to brutal fervor you will just get these bonuses all the time 100 percent all right because this provides as you can see 2 million dps it just writes in red uh yeah this is simply broken fuel the fight for that mana leech we don't have mana leech without this so this is very important and again a lot of damage while leeching so these two provides something like yeah almost 4 million damage these two notables alone so this cluster provides more than 5 million because we also have this so this is just a simply broken cluster jewel i wanted to squeeze in more life that's why i'm using a petal uh, two points one so i don't have to waste points but if you want to keep your resist maybe you can get three points petal adds three passives instead of two so there are going to be one more small here like this so maybe if you put this cold resist like this you will have additional seven cold press so you can keep your resists easier maybe so try to get something depending on that if you don't need those kind of stuff just get the two passive ones so you don't waste any points you can just focus on other stuff another jewel Global fizz, multiplier, live, cheap jewels. I already listed those. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's see if there are anything else crazy. These are our buffs. I'm not gonna even explain those. That you can just read on your own, even if you are a new player, because I will just read whatever is written on it. There is nothing special. Uh, mobile setup, deep slam, life tap again. You can actually proc life tap easier before entering the boss because Flicker Strikes life tap is level 20 or 21, whatever you have. So it actually requires more life to spend to get activated. You can actually use 
leaps than once before entering a boss with only a level 1 life step so it only needs something like 17 life pop to just proc that life step from your leap slam and then attack with your flicker strike because it also has a life step on it so you can just snapshot that uh, life step bonus don't forget that uh, what else what else totems again before boss fights wall totem you just want to use wall and protector that's it if you don't have wall use a normal war chief and a protector uh, don't try to use both wall and normal war chief it doesn't work just use whatever you have obviously wall is better and make sure that you use that, that uh, protector phantasmal provides a lot of buff effects so that means more attack speed provides something like 1 million additional dps so try to get a phantasmal obviously uh, by using multiple totems you can just summon everything at once otherwise your totem limit is one but while ancestral warship already has plus one maximum number of summon totems so even without this you can actually summon protector plus wall warship but you cannot do something like this because uh, this is beyond your totem limit also using main because main targets take increased physical damage we have a lot of totems so they can easily main uh, so we will have some additional dps so totems provides a lot of dps they are simply broken in this game so melee totems are simply very uh, very powerful berserk to pop at bosses let's just explain that real quick and then blood rage as above just press this once and it will just get refreshed automatically enhance obviously increase the quality so it will also provide a lot of dps because blood rage's quality provides a lot of attack speed and berserk's quality provides damage so this is a good combination to put enhance to get some additional dps so let's just explain how to get uh, Berserk, how to get Rage uh, on bosses. So make sure you use two fast weapons on your second weapon slot. So something like this. These are like one chaos swords, a lot of attack speed, more than two per second. So these are good swords to use. Uh, cheap swords. If you maybe miss intelligence for some reason, uh, try to use maybe rare swords. Let's see if I have anything. Yeah, something like this. Maybe a jewel foil with some attack speed on it and put uh, craft intelligence on the crafting bench but this build has uh, intelligence i believe but maybe i have more intelligence i'm not sure so just make sure that you have enough intelligence so you can also maybe you need to use a rare sword with intelligence on it because we need intelligence for hydrosphere even level one requires 79 so this is just for the second weapon slot we are not using this on our initial weapon slot so that's why you don't need this intelligence normally so make sure that you figure that intelligence cost uh, by using a rare sword maybe all right again i'm just trying to explain this part uh, real slow because i want to i want you to uh, understand so make sure that you have enough intelligence on your second weapon slot so you can use a hydro spear with increased duration so it will, it will last longer so you just want to use hydro spear uh with chain hook just target chain hook on that hydro spear because for some reason hydro spear is counted as an enemy i believe that's why you can just use chain hook on it and gain one rage if this skill hits any enemies uh, by using faster attacks and also life tap so it is actually free you can just uh, press and hold your right click on your hydro spear that's it just wait until you have 50 rage check your upper screen you know left upper side here uh, make sure you have 50 rage ready weapon swap again put your totems pop your flasks and press berserk make sure it is on your skill bar and the boss is dead that's it uh yeah that's pretty much it finally pantins maybe Arakali is my favorite on this kind of meta builds reduce effect of shock on you reduce shock duration on you also some good recovery rate of life those kind of stuff chaos resist against them over time because it is very hard to uh, get chaos resist in this game that's why this helps a lot in my opinion this is my favorite um, pantheon for these kind of melee builds uh, for minor relicage is fine cannot be blinded cannot be maimed uh, very nice quality of life improvement aberrat is also nice unaffected by burning ground reduce ignite duration because ignite sometimes can hurt you even on especially on some uh, boss fights uh, that elder guardian i forgot the name maybe enslaver i'm not sure maybe through fire that guy ignites a lot you know hits really hard so this kind of this is actually also a usual, useful uh, minor pantheon. But in the end, you can also use something else if you want. But these are my favorites. So thanks for watching. Yeah, this is end of the video. 
again don't forget to join my discord just mute the channel just check from time to time because i share stuff uh, sometimes i uh, take your opinions or kind of stuff because uh, again um in this following weeks i'm gonna start preparing 3.15 build guide leak start to end game those kind of stuff i will obviously try all of them that's why i need some time so they are gonna be um guaranteed guides tested by me full guide all right they are gonna be very good uh, really detailed guides if you are following me uh, you already know a couple of those maybe they are gonna be very good guides uh, guys all right so make sure you join my discord uh, give me some advice I will also make uh, take a straw poll again, uh, so you can maybe vote on some builds. I'm not sure. We are gonna see. Thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe, so maybe that will help me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye bye.